Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Komori stand here at Drupa. Uh, if you'd like to listen to this demonstration in any of the languages on the screen, then do collect a headset at reception. Okay. Now, in this demonstration, we're going to prove to you the brilliance of Komori's offset on-demand solutions. Now, this is the five-color Lithrone S29. Let me just open the cover there on the side of the delivery for you. Because in there, you will see this here. It does look like a conventional press from the outside, but you've got a low, uh, high power, ozone free HUV lamp there. And that means that this press is capable of ultra fast powderless drying. And that allows printed work to be passed across immediately to post press for finishing. Thank you, Rude. Now, in addition, this press is also equipped with KHS AI, our print startup system. And that has a self-learning function, ensuring that densities are okay by the 20th sheet from print startup. So therefore, making the absolute most of the ultra-fast drying that this press is capable of. In addition, all job changeovers are automatically controlled by smart sequence. So we have every reason for calling this the ultimate evolution of offset printing. Now, not only will you see this extraordinary performance in the demonstration, but the effect is going to be maximized by the combination of the offset and digital printing systems, which is all part of the Komori offset on-demand solution. So in this demonstration right now, you're going to see the combination of the Lithrone and the Impremia C80 digital printing machine which is behind you in DoNet. Now, color management on both is handled by Komori's own K-Color simulator. Do pop by and have a look in the DoNet zone once this demonstration is finished. Now, we sell that on an OEM basis. And Rich is there to help you with any questions. But what are we going to show you right here, right now? Well, take a look at the minute monitor. And Rude, should we get started? So we'll get started on our first HUV job. We're going to print 200 sheets of a rough, uncoated paper, which is typically difficult to dry. And then we're going to immediately reload the printed sheets into the feeder. And we're going to print the other side as a work and turn job. After printing the reverse side of the sheet, the work's then going to go immediately to post press. Good morning to you. And it's going to be uh, saddle stitched and cut. And we're going to hand the brochure out to you before the end of this demonstration, which you'll be able to have a look at. So as you can hear, we've started printing the first side of the sheet at the maximum speed of 16,000 sheets per hour. Boy, you're quick. Uh, is it OK? It's good. And is it dry? It is dry. It's been dried with a single lamp. Thank you, Rude. Marvellous job. Job done. So printing is now finished. Rude's now going to take those printed sheets back to the feeder. And we're going to print the other side with the same plates. And since it's a work and turn job, the plates don't need to be changed. And the operator will be able to begin production printing as soon as he checks front back register on the first few sheets. Now, the HUV system is able to dry work that's being printed at 16,000 sheets per hour with the one 120-watt lamp. And it doesn't require an exhaust duct or special ozone filters. Now, the secret behind this is in the development of HUV ink and the HUV lamp itself. We're going to show you a graph on the screen in just a sec. Blue represents classic UV and pink shows HUV. And the wavelengths used for HUV are in the ozone-free region. The visible light range to the infrared range, in other words, those that generate heat, are there on the right. And HUV outputs almost no heat. Now, we're going to start print some copies of the work and turn job. Root will then chuck, check the front back register. And then we'll get up to speed on production printing.
Is it good, Rude? It's good. So let's get up to speed and finish the first work and turn job. Now, while we're printing, let me explain a little bit more about the features of the HUV system. First, it's really friendly to the environment. Power consumption is substantially reduced when you compare it to a conventional UV system. And that in itself contributes to a reduction in CO2 emissions. And also for the good of the environment, HUV is free from VOCs. Uh, on the screen there, you can see the HUV lamp. The lamp itself, along with the housing and the filter, makes sure that the wavelengths stay in the region that doesn't produce ozone, or generate heat for that matter. There you go. Final few sheets just coming off the press. Job done. So what we're going to do now is get those sheets off the press. We're going to take them down to <laughs> over to Post Press, Horizon. Welcome back, Mark. It's very nice to see you. Um, and um, yeah, and we're going to get those finished. And we'll get them handed out to you. Well done, Rude. Now, automatic blanket washing and KHS pre-inking are now being carried out simultaneously under the direction of Smart Sequence as we change over for the next job. The press will automatically change the plates and then start printing. But let's talk about some of the technologies before we start up again. First, the Komori Info Service Display, which is down here on the console. Now, the interlocking settings and locations of errors on the press are very clearly shown on the KID screen. And Ruse is also able to display the ink profile for each individual color for each job. So we've got black there, cyan, magenta, and yellow. And that literally helps to keep Rude in the picture at all times. Thank you, Rude. And you can see how clear it is there on the large screen. And that's what we're printing next, by the way. And next, what the CMS DoNet Zone is where you'll find the Impremia C80 digital printing machine. The C80 is capable of outputting 80 A4 sheets a minute, single-sided, and it can easily handle thin sheets of standard coated paper. But this stem is all about bringing together offset and digital technology. And the key technology behind this is color matching using Komori's K-Color simulator. Now this allows the POD machine to output the same color as the offset press. And the biggest feature of the K-Color simulator is that it makes specialist color management expertise unnecessary. And it enables easy and accurate color matching without the need for specialist know-how. And in our DoNet zone, you can see exactly how it all operates. OK, on the screen, we're going to demonstrate a simple color matching setup on the assumption that the colors on the inkjet proof and the lithrone didn't match. So first, the color chart is printed together with any image at standard density in the margin of the sheet. And then the same image, including the chart, is output from the POD machine. And the colors on both sheets are measured with a PDC. Then if the operator presses the execute button on the K color simulator screen, a simulation of the offset color is produced by the POD machine automatically. It really is as simple as that. So with its CMS capability, the K-Color Simulator means that work can be produced which fuses together the production of offset presses and digital printing systems. And for details of the K-Color Simulator and the C80, will be shown in the DoNet Zone throughout the day. So do pop by and have a little chat with Richard, who will be happy to answer all of your questions. So just starting to get the first brochures from Post Press.
Thank you very much. So I'm going to hand these out just to the front rows. Um, and then hopefully Mark will help me hand them out to the back rows. So um, you'll be my glamorous assistant, Mark. Is that okay? There you go. Okay, so talking about HEV, uh, we've already sold 120 in Japan alone. Various specifications. There we go. Would you else require these? You can see on the brochure that the ink coverage is very high. And you're going to get the same drying results on different types of substrates, including plastics and foil and film. And of course, the benefit of this is, firstly, space saving, because you haven't got stacks and stacks of paper waiting to dry in your workshops. You can pass them immediately onto post press. Helps you react to your customers' demands much more quickly. And that, of course, will give you the edge over the competition, which is really important in this economic climate. I'm sure you'll agree. So plate changing is now complete. Thank you. So the second job on the S29 is about to start. Rude will check that the densities and register of startup printing are OK. And we'll also check that the colors of the 20th sheet and the Epsom sample match. And he'll do that by scanning with the PDC. So what you've seen is that by combining all the very latest Komori technologies, we've brought together the production results of digital and offset systems to create true Komori on demand. So everything's good. We're starting our second job. And please do take a look at the completed samples. And feel free to take them away with you and remind yourselves of the very latest technology from Komori. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and visit us here today. There are demonstrations continuing all day here on the Komori stand. The next demonstration is about to take place on the lift throne. Um, so do stick around, ask any questions and help yourself to samples. And thank you very much to Mark and to Rue. It's a marvellous job as always. Thank you.